we have spawned in to the Cursed Hollow and ladies and gentlemen, spawning on the left hand side in the blue trunks, it is Mad Corpse Esports. And starting in the top lane, it is going to be Jellic playing the Cigar with the Master Skin. In the mid lane, it is Lolony on the Tassadar with the Mech Skin. STK on the regular Ufa. Master Skin Five, Valor being played four, by JPL. Three, and in the bot lane, one, with the War Master Chen, it is Yuki. Five. Really, really cool skin. Their mm -hmm. opponents on the right side, in the red trunks, they are Baron 4 with Karma playing Malfurion. And ooh, we already have some action. Arony is playing Diablo. Heya is playing Turanda. Down here in the mid lane, we have Zazamel or Z Zaza Lamel. Gosh, I'm just gonna call him Zaza. Uh, is playing Rhaegar. And in the bot lane, we have Pyroless playing Sergeant Hammer. Yep, this is going to be a pretty good game. I'm quite excited about this. Let's have a look at some of the level 1 talents. Pretty standard out of everyone. We have the regen master coming out of chain. Going to be getting that huge tankiness for so that he can play a bit. Uh... Oh, up there, Jellic needs to watch out. There comes the root, and looks like he's going to go wow. down. Nice he's job by the party lane. Arine getting that final blow, and this is going to push this lane quite hard. Um, looks like in the bot lane, it's just Chen and Tesla, but Uther maybe looking to join the fray here. Arlos needs to step back. Yep, for now, STK going to be grabbing at that watchtower and heading back to his lane. He does miss out on that uh, on that health globe, unfortunately, so we won't get the Conjurer's Pursuit stack from that. But now he is just going to hang in the bush and look for an ambush. Tassadar going for the Psy Infusion rather than the Conjurer's Pursuit, relying more on his Storm for extra damage and mana rather than the extra mana regen that he'd get late game with that Conjurer's Pursuit. And an interesting choice for now, though. Diablo and Tyrande instantly revealed in their gank attempts by Oracle. Mm. Uh, it's not going to work like that. It's not going to stop uh, them though. Tesla's Round two. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do the fake walk away and then come straight back looking for the opportunity. And right now... Well, he has eight seconds then um, Oracle's back up. Yep. Five. Oh. Four. Storm Ooh, for Scout. Nice storm. Nice storm. on top today. Very, very nice. Arany poking his head and seeing if he can catch anything anyway. And we mentioned the amount of healing that's coming down for what is official, what is a, what we consider a two support comp is technically a free support comp if you count to Rande. Oh, there's the overpower onto STK, but not catching anyone out. But we have double healing ward and healing totem, plus three people with an actual heal ability and the extra health regen onto and like you, Like you said, you called it amplified healing on Diablo. Um, yeah. Well, it, it does make so much sense. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be staying very very alive. And even Rhaegar has got the Feral Heart, which increases his health regen by one hundred percent while just he is in So Ghostful. sustaining. This is the most sustaining you can get. Yeah, we said for Hammer, but she has extra range. So the whole point is she isn't in the fight and doesn't take damage to begin with. But now though, nice knockback onto SDK. Yuki Ooh, is coming in from the side. JPL uh, coming from the back, and there he goes the overpower. Oh, Kia back out again. Yeah, Kia having to back up a bit. It has already dropped the Hunter's Mark. We're now seeing Zaza be having to retreat. Nice knockback from Hammer. And nice stun there coming out of here. They're going oh, on to JP. Nice bolt but... through the Hammer, though. And they're all dropping low despite all the sustain. They're having a lot of trouble engaging this. But Hammer, the one who matters for damage wise, is still pretty high on health. How many of their wards have they used? They have used all of their wards. They've used all of their wards and totems. Diablo, though, really is a good control care. then by Mad Corpse to actually deal with this. But it looks like they can finally get control of the tribute. Nope, not not yet. Tassava still has a word to say about this. And he can keep doing this for quite a while. He's just going to roll in and tank Sergeant Hammer with his shield. Able to deny both players here. And finally, Kia just going to stop trying to ta try to tap this and instead going to aggro a bit onto Lolly. Now just heading to the mid lane, just giving up on this completely. Not realizing that... Well, Valor and Tassadar are now back. They're going to be attempting to deny this. Yuki coming from the back as well onto Pyro. He's going to have to back up, though, playing it safe. Looks like Zaza will maybe get it. Nope, he died. <laughs> Still not happening. Ooh, Yuki jumping on top of Pyroless. This is going to change things quite a bit, but oh, just standing there and taking Arity. it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Fire's behind. Able to deny it. Pyro having to pop first aid. Yuki still going aggro onto this, playing very, very aggressively onto Pyro. Well, that's There's a nice move. Uther. Now Pyro is There's in the trouble. There comes body, body block. Him off. And Diablo cutting, trying to Diablo help out, but it's not going to work, or is it? Oh, nice. Ooh. 
good move, but you can caught out behind the wall here, it looks like it. Yeah, but he's going to be able to tank this up with his shield and then dive over a tower to give himself some freedom. And the tribute finally went over to Mad Corpse there. Very well played by Yuki. He is also running the very tanky build like we were talking about earlier. Regeneration Master at level 1. Amplified healing for himself. His team is running a totem as well. And he has the Brewmaster's balance and now is diving onto Aradi here. Now, these two are basically going to be in a fight to see who is tankier. The difference is, Aradi has a way of interrupting Yuki's main tankiness factor. And I think, I gotta say, I mean, it looks like Diablo is going to be the one that's the tankiest option here. If you can stay alive and get those souls out. Yeah, this is true. And they, they do have that triple support, Tyrande, Malfurion, and Ned Vega. You called around, I mean, uh, usually Tyrande not not your main support, but... But this combination, wow, that's just so much healing. You gotta keep an eye out on that. They have that level 10s available. Let's see, it's Reign of Vengeance on Vala, Iron Storm, and Wandering Tech, Archon, and just the Gara missing, but it's gonna be the Maw. Uh, no way around it. Well, she could be trying to cheese, but no, there's the Maw. Would have been nice to see the Nidus Worm just be very cheesy and just try and backdoor stuff, but no, you want it for the team fight. It's very effective. Not much reason not to do it. Owl actually misses Jellock here. He's going to have no interruption gathering this tribute, and that will make it two tributes to zero for Mad Corp. So we're using this opportunity that, of the little lead they have to go for their boss. I really got to call out Jellic here. He's doing an amazing job creep spreading. Look at this map. It's all creeped up all the way to the fort. He already sieged up the fort quite well. And I think the creep tumors actually helped him out so much here, so much so in this uh, last uh, tribute taken. And they completely stopped Baron Four from, from going for that tribute. He's actually tried to f deny the boss here, but getting rooted and harassed by a lot of members here. He's not going to be able to stop the boss unless he gets oh, a... Yuki all the jumps in yeah. there! Oh, he's going to be rooted down. This is dangerous. He this is down. incredibly he dangerous. Yuki down. He gets might back. About. He's trying for it, but he dies. If he had a bit more health, he might have been able to stop that boss and steal it. Baron Four did go down onto Kia, but... Jen, he dived in a bit too early there. If he dived in a bit later and used his barrel, he would have been able to steal the boss, but wasn't able to manage it. Malfurion running the Twilight Dream as his ultimate, getting the extra damage to the sides. SDK getting caught out here, cleanses himself so that he can't be overpowered. However, oh, there's, power again, power. there's a nice, nice stun, but he still gets away. Uh, good shielding. Yep, Rain of Vengeance able to slow down the enemy team by Valor. Keeping Ufa alive and safe. He's going to go and help Lolony take this easy camp in the top lane. Valor, head into the bot lane, clear that up, grab some XP. Yeah, and we have Lightning Breath being taken by Diablo this time. So, no more yeah, there's, uh, shenanigans. There's not much to interrupt here, except yeah. maybe Chen when he is brewing, but does make enough of a difference to not just go for the extra damage. Yeah, I think extra damage does work out quite well. And then, well, I mean... Starfall, Lightning Bar. Well, there's no real, really cool um, synergies, but yeah, I well, think it's fair. Still the if they get off. someone, if they can silence people and get them, they're slowed with the Starfall. They can just sort of, they can just fire at them as they run out of the Starfall. It's it's not the best, but yeah, it's not the best. I mean, it's only a twenty percent slow. Um, yeah, they, but they it's, it's all it's about damage. Enough, like, they basically want the other team to engage onto them so that they're running into all these damage abilities. That's going to be their best chance. Yeah, we have uh, Mutalus coming in for Zagara, uh, of course the multi-shot build for the Dala uh, Sprint for Uther, then Relentless on Chen, and down here the Shrink Ray on Tassila. Yep. Um, and I don't know, Shrink Ray? Maybe um, just on It's Tyrande. usually Shrink Ray or the Phase Shift uh, on Tassila, but yeah, Shrink Ray, Sergeant Hammer or Diablo are probably going to end up being Sergeant the Hammer, yeah. So, if you yeah, can Diablo. actually get to her. That's yeah. probably the biggest issue there. Yeah, Diablo also, also would be a pretty nice target. If you shrink Ray him before he uses his Lightning Breath, then it's going to reduce the damage, I believe, by 50%. So if you can get that off quick enough, then that could be pretty cool. Yeah, completely take him out of the fight. They have the Curse now. They want to add in some Seed Shines, and it's going to work out quite well. Let's see. Yeah, they already have that first engagement all rogues that up. Cool. That's pretty much all the rogues. Yep, they're up now. Yeah, they're looking for their, opp looking for their opportunity. Arani, getting a lot of healing. He hasn't hit 100 souls this entire game. That is a bit of a difficulty. Getting yeah, a lot now. Healing really helps out quite a bit. I mean, 
doesn't even matter if he gets all those souls. I mean, of course it matters. It's way, way better, but still with the healing, I think uh, they can stand their ground. But they're like three levels behind right now. That's that's massive. And that's the next fort going down. It's just so easy for Mad Corps to pick these up. Yeah, they lost top fort already to the Sea Giants. And then Mad Corps grabbed the bottom fort. They're now actually going for bottom keep. And looking for the opportunity to see if they can grab that Zagara, throwing down some roaches to tank the keep shots. And they are just going so much damage, so much damage out of the Diablo. Oh, the engaged by Aaron and Jelly completely caught out. There's the Mog, nice Mog, getting two heroes caught out there. But Jelly drops so incredibly low. Can she get away? Oh, nope, nice. she can. And she drops. But Maturin also taken down. TK incredibly low. There comes the Kek, pushing Kurlis away from this fight. And looks like it's going to be a disengage coming out of Mad Corps, trying to cut their losses here. And I think it was definitely the right decision. Yep, very nice. Both teams losing one member, but the amount of damage that Mad Corpse has been able to do has solidified them a pretty convincing lead. But we did see a pretty nice fight there. Already, however, started his, his Lightning Breath while facing the wrong way. Lightning Breath starts whichever way Diablo is facing nowadays, rather than whichever way your mouse is pointing. He will then have to turn to where your mouse is pointing and run it that way. And Jellic almost was able to escape there, but he was taken out by the final Starfall shot as he exited the Starfall area. So he did go down. I didn't even see if Twilight Dream went off. It's not on cooldown, so I don't even know if it went off at all. Unfortunate. I think he was too far off and yeah. just picked off picked off so insanely fast. I don't know, it just already came back up. But Lightning Breath is on 60 second cooldown and that only just came up, so I'm assuming it didn't just he didn't use it. Level 16 talents are up. Uh, we have Root Expansion for the Gara. Blood for Blood on Mana. Posing Presence on Uther. Chuck um, on Chant. And Second Strike on Master. And the Chuck is being taken here over enough to share, which is a. Uh... Well, quite a selfish challenge, quite a selfish challenge choice, but it's pretty nice when you're already running Relentless and you have someone with as much CC as Diablo who's going to be interrupting your brewing as much as possible. But now, though, Mad Corps have already taken their boss and they are rolling their way up to the top lane to see if they can steal this boss. However, we are seeing Baron 4 taking it very quickly. Jen is going to be the one who denies this. He's not going to reach there in time. Boss oh, there comes the Baron Aaron, though. I don't think it's going to work, but... See, follow up. Getting on top of him, that's a lot of damage output so quickly. And Aaron, he yeah, drops yeah. incredibly low. <laughs> and there comes yeah. the shrink ray. He does have his passive up, though. He does respawn. He had 123 souls at the time, loses 100, back down to 23 souls. And that does make him lose a chunk of health. He's back down to 4.8k. Still, oh, 4.9k, sorry. So, still not terrible. Almost 5,000 health. I don't see that Baron didn't want to fight this. Um, they could have fought it, but it seems cool. I guess they thought, okay, we're not level 16 yet. We need to get a little bit more XP in to, to get that more very important level. And then, of course, it's Diablo. He can come back. Uh, it's just going to lose those souls. This is true. And Bar uh, Mad Corps, however, still not grab the tribute. They're finally heading over to grab it so that they can get their tribute count on the way again. Ow! Oh, hitting nice Oliver, disrupt. But STK going to be able to pick this up. Lonely and SDK are going to have to get out of here though and Mad Corps going to have to either choose to fight or go back to base, play it safe and deal with the... Actually, they don't even need to deal with the Golem in the top plane. That's just going to die to towers. <laughs> and we have two more tones out talents now <laughs> for uh, Baron 4. It's yep. imposing presence on Diablo and the shooting star for Luna Flare on Tyrande, Venacious Roots on Malfurion, Blood for Blood on Rhaegar and Hover Siege Mode. Or Sergeant Hammer. The yep. Siege mode is going to change things quite a bit. Oh, Yuki goes for the Kek straight away. Drops Chaos straight into this team, but they're not really going for it quite a way. Still on retreat mode. They're waiting for Jellic to get there. And now everyone's in there. Oh, oh nice. Yep, Tyrande falls. And there comes the Maw on top of everything. Eren might actually fall. He's completely separate from his team. And there comes the Overpower. Just like only. Oh, Aaron Eats, right retreat. He did get a heal, but he does go down. down. And that I think is, this might be game. That's got to be game. Be that is a 4 for 0. And we're going to see Mad Corps continue to push in here. Baron 4. Only one left is Malfuria. He does have the increased root duration. So that uh, he can slow them down a bit. But he's used his ult. He doesn't have any real damage of his own. He can really sort of just sit there and lightly poke them with his W and his... Uh, but he's just actually just going to run through them. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go, Ice Lock. That's that is GG. Mad Corpse going to be taking the round of 16 game and will move on to the quarterfinals. Yeah. A uh, really cool, really cool game for Mad Corpse. Um, played for that quite well. Uh, yeah, sorry, the, um, the logos were correct, but for some reason the titles didn't update. Um, got that fixed <laughs> one second before, uh, before the game finished. That here. last message yep. <laughs> in the chat. GG, do omelette from Marsh. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, French teams. Yay, Perfect. French teams.